Good morning, everyone. It's 7 in the morning. Um, I just got back from taking my sister to work. But I haven't eaten. I haven't drinking anything but water. No caffeine. So I'm going to go make some food real quick. Probably some eggs. Some egg whites. And uh, a little pre-workout before I go to the gym so I don't have to later. And I can enjoy my day off. pounds on the dot. Abs are more visible. I think I'm gonna shave my stomach. I don't know. I debate shaving my happy trail sometimes. I mean it grows back really fast but I just look so childish without it I think. So I got some egg whites with one egg, some spinach, and peppered turkey. I'm pretty bummed because I didn't defrost my Dave's Killer Bread, so now I'm just eating this organic 70 calorie. But it's okay. So yeah, this is my breakfast for today. Um, macros, I have no idea. I just eat, okay? I just eat. Oh, man. I forgot to take my supplements. <laughs> I'm going to go to the gym after this, so... So I'd like to take my supplements so they have time to kick in. For example, my nitric oxide and my creatine. It's suggested take 30 to 60 minutes before a workout, which is a little annoying, but it's worth it because it does uh, help a lot. Um, I wanted coffee this morning, but I didn't want to be dehydrated from it during my workout. So I'm just gonna drink some of this. It's fruit punch. Actually, no, it's mango lime. What? The last one I had was fruit punch. I don't know where this came from. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Um, this one wasn't too bad. It, had, it has coconut water in it, so it's pretty good, and it's organic caffeine. Okay, I don't see any creatine, but I'm going to trust that it's going to do me well without, because I, re I really don't want to mix my creatine and this together. And, of course, nitric oxide. This is my first bottle of nitric oxide. Um, so I can't really say much for whether this company is the best or not. I mean, obviously not. <laughs> you can pause to read. I mean, like, it's really, really good. But something about ingesting six black capsules every day is not the move for me. <laughs> Here we go again. We're going to do a full scoop this time because my first video I only did, like, a third or something. <laughs> But then again, I was sleep deprived and it was like eight o'clock and I really needed to sleep. Oh. Okay, that looks a little good actually. All right, look at this black abyss of pills I have to swallow before every workout. Not bad, a little suspicious, uh, a little chemical tasting, but that's okay. I'm gonna finish up my meal and uh, I'll get back to you in a second. <laughs> so what to wear today? All right, we're going with the Bart Simpson socks today. So while I was eating breakfast, um, I usually go through like my social media and my comments and my DMs and something I want to talk about is like hate comments no, but not the hate comments itself I wanted to talk about the comments that you guys reply with because I often see that we're so hateful back to them and I don't see the point in that like you're fighting fire with fire and no one ever wins or learns anything because you're commenting trigger warning KYS to a troll and like yeah they're a troll but 
what are you trying to do there? Like, I respect and I really appreciate the help and the gesture. Not only are we stooping to their level, but, but it just creates more hate and resentment towards us. Like, we can't be representing ourselves like that. You know, as annoying as it seems, uh, and to just go read these very uneducated comments, um, know that I am not hurt by them at all. They make me laugh, um, and I usually delete them, and I will delete your comments as well if you are fighting back. I just want everyone to be respectful and tolerant of others, even if they aren't of you. Because that itself is power and strength, and we don't ever want to create more of the fire, okay? Most of the time, these people just don't even know. They grow up like that, and that's just all they know. And it's not really my problem what they think of me. Because <laughs> most of the time, they will never say that to my face. I've never been told any of this, any of these things to my face, only over the internet. Yeah, just a little, little rant, I think, I guess. I don't know. But it's 8.15. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I gotta go to the gym and get a quick little session. Probably gonna be cut in half, because I do have to come home and shower for my appointments. So... Let's go, let's go. Damn, these birds are loud. Whew. All right, so I was only able to do just a little bit of stretching for the day and a four mile bike ride. Not too bad. That's all I could fit in right now because I got to go home and take a shower still. But yeah, I'm gonna come back later for sure to finish my workout. <laughs> my pre-workout was pretty good, actually. I mean, it didn't give me like the jitters, at least not yet. nipples are like super itchy right now from the sweat like the tape so itchy <laughs> so many people ask if you can shower with tape yes you can uh, depending on if you get the right kind I get KT tape hand to Adams on Amazon it just darkens in color a little bit that's all but it'll go back to normal yeah, I swim in it, I shower every day with it, so if you're wondering, yes. I was gonna shave, but I don't have time to shave. So you're gonna have to deal with the Discord, the Discord mod. <laughs> Alright, this is a sunscreen I use. I also got this from Target. Um, it's supposed to be good for acne prone skin, 30 SPF. Um, I think it's pretty good. I haven't broken out with it. Uh, yet. I've been using it for about two weeks. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't really leave me uh, looking pasty white. The My Pack is actually really, really comfortable. <laughs> um, like on the bike ride, uh, usually I am in a little pain down there because of the bike seat, but with this, like it's much easier to move up and down out of the way. Whereas with a normal packer just sitting there in your pants, it just it just sits there and it's a lot harder to move. But this one moves a lot more freely. I'm wearing tight underwear right now, so like it's gonna stay there. But but if I were in loose underwear, it would be a lot more comfortable. Okay, I don't know the weather today, so I'm just gonna wear a t-shirt with some pants. These are my favorite pants. 
They're the Levi's XX Chino Standard Taper. I think I got these from Ross for like 16 bucks, but they're usually like 40 or 50. They're kind of like the Dickies version of Levi's, but you know, they're really comfortable, um, really flexible, and they make me look all kinds of caked up. <laughs> they fit my body really well. Okay, my t-shirt for today, a little poser. All right, my aunt bought me this shirt because right now I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons. Um, with some co-workers <laughs> but this is my first time so I'm a little bit of a poser today I mean yeah she bought me this shirt so I gotta wear it all right so I'm going to the optometrist optom it, oh, whatever, the eye doctor because I'm gonna try to get contacts well not try I'm at, I'm gonna get contacts I've been wearing glasses since I was in sixth grade and they've just always fallen off my face my head like admittedly i do have a little dysphoria with glasses because like i just feel sometimes they make me look like a little kid but you know i'm human and i still feel dysphoric sometimes i'm also pretty pumped because then i can get sunglasses i've never been able to wear sunglasses in my life ever <laughs> yeah um i brought a protein bar and i brought this like little yogurt these are actually really good. 70 calories, 10 grams of protein. Here we are. Sweet. I just did like some weird eye exam. I've had to put like my, my eyeball against this machine, like literally pressed against it, and they scan the back of my eyeball. Interesting. Just waiting. When I'm taking out contacts, our biggest factor is going to be the lashes. Our lashes are always there to get things out of our eyes. Mm -hmm. So your natural instinct will be to just blink, right? Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Look around, look around. Okay. Awesome. I got it. All right, so I have contacts now. That was interesting. My insurance only paid for contacts wore glasses so I mean obviously I had to choose contacts because they're in my eyeballs but yeah they gave me this like solution um, to wear them yeah that cost me it's seventy dollars for bi-weekly contacts I have to go back in a week just so they can do a follow-up with me but I think I look better without glasses I look less like a kid okay uh, I'm gonna go home now I'm gonna finish up this yogurt on my way home, and then, yeah. I'm like obsessed with the song from Bring Me the Horizon. I used to listen to Bring Me the Horizon in middle school. I was like a huge fan. I watched like every live concert of them, like at least 50 times. Um, the good old Semp Eternal days. It feels so weird driving without glasses right now. It feels like I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> now I can go buy some sunglasses. Now I can go look handsome as hell with some sunglasses. Go out to the beach, to the pool, not get eye cancer or wrinkles from the sun, from squinting so much. It's really important to take care of your eyes because I'm pretty sure with testosterone, um, it can affect your eye vision, um, especially as you get older on it. I'm kind of like trying to be proactive with that. I really have to pee. I can't wait to get home. Alright, um, today is Thursday, so I do have to get a video up very soon. With that said, it's time to edit a video. I do this for a little bit, then I have another appointment for my car in about an hour. So, all right. So after this, not really sure what I'm gonna do because I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I do have to pick my sister up from work and then I have to go to therapy. So I don't know if I explained before, but I've been going to therapy since September of last year. So it's, it's almost been a year. 
I initially went because I needed a letter of referral for top surgery and I got that all the way back in February I think so it didn't take very long how it went for me um, being in California and I'm not sure if it's different between different therapists or psychologists but um, my therapist is really cool he just asked me a couple questions like like what are the things that I feel regarding my body my self-esteem my self-image um, how long I've been feeling these things such as dysphoria uh, how it made me feel growing up stuff like that just general information to write on the letter and just give you as much credibility as possible like yeah so and so has been expressing dysphoria since they were like age nine or something uncomfortable in one's body not comfortable to take off the shirt to take clothes off stuff like that sorry you're like bouncing back and forth and so that itself was pretty easy that didn't even take very long probably like one or two sessions and then he just wrote it and in the meantime we were just talking about personal stuff but yeah, I really don't have any reason to have therapy anymore, except it's just nice to be able to talk to somebody. Or you can just talk about your dreams, your goals, whatever. And in terms of insurance, I don't have any medical insurance at all. I use the state Medi-Cal insurance, which in my area is Molina Healthcare. And that has completely paid for all of my therapy and is in fact also paying for my surgery. I really thought like I'd be going through a lot more hardship. Not to say that I haven't, but I'm extremely grateful to have done all of this and to be able to do any of the stuff I do. But it's also at the same time, it just didn't come from nothing. Like I had to actually pursue this. I had to actually research and look at my options for the circumstances that I was in. So I guess the point of this is to not lose faith and to have hope because there always is hope. You just gotta keep your head up and have patience. Easier said than done, I know, because I've been there. But I'm also not as privileged as you think I am. I'm not rich, I've worked for everything I have. So keep your head up and don't make any excuses and work for what you want. Nothing worthwhile comes easy in life and you're not gonna be the one to sit there and cry about it. You're better than that. I'm gonna go to Frank's. Um, probably go walk around the mall for a bit because I have time to kill until I have to pick up my sister again. All right. All right, I'm at Frank's. So we're making our way towards his little apartment, uh, gym, because he's my, uh, my little guinea pig right now yeah. for a fitness client. Yeah, and after like his first session, the machine in his gym broke. So we gotta go check that out right now. Damn, dude, are we walking to Africa for this? Where's your right gym? There. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with the little walk? Oh. Ooh, is there AC? Oh, yeah. Oh. Dude, this is actually pretty nice. So, technically, there's no AC here. We just got a fan. Okay. But, dude, this is actually really nice. Okay, so, explain what was broken. The problem is, once I reach this part, uh -huh. you see how it is? Yeah. It would just get stuck. Like that. Oh. Oh. And now it's stuck. See, if you do that, it gets stuck. This is a little fine tuning. Yeah. You got a good amount of weight though. So. Yeah. You'll never know he lives right next to me in apartment 34. Three, two, one. Wait, also how did it end up me holding the camera? Alright, we're gonna go race real quick. Only for like 10 to 15 minutes. That's it.
What? No, I don't want to do it if you're not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not Bro, I can't even reach the bag. I believe in you. Oh my god. I'm going to suck at this. Don't run at it. Come on. Give me your hand. Alright, we got a race. First place. Destroy. <laughs> that was pretty fun. All right, I dropped off Frank. It's time to go pick up my sister from work, and then I have to go to therapy. I'm not gonna film much of that because therapy is therapy. I can't record. So uh, yeah, trust. I'll see you in like two hours. Hello everyone, it's like uh, 6 o'clock, just got back, chilling outside, eating some Chipotle with my dog. Just gonna relax for a bit and then get ready to go to the gym because I didn't get to finish earlier. I'm gonna eat half of this and then save the rest for lunch tomorrow. What happened when you see a fly? So I'm gonna go to the gym and get this leg day over with so I can come home and sleep. I tried editing a little bit, but I was really tired and uh, I was falling asleep. I still have my contacts in, so I have to either call quits and go to bed or go to the gym so I can take my contacts out. Sorry, the TV's on. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. I will see you there. Do, do, doom shot, motherfucker. Mamas, why are you yelling? There you go. All right, I'm gonna call the end right there. I am exhausted. I'm like on five hours of sleep right now. But um, yeah, thank you for watching and supporting me. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>